The New York Times International Edition is an English-language newspaper printed at 38 sites throughout the world and sold in more than 160 countries and territories. Founded under the title Paris Herald in 1887 in Paris as the European edition of the New York Herald, it changed owners and was renamed several times. It became the Paris Herald Tribune, global edition of the New York Herald Tribune in 1924, then the International Herald Tribune in 1967, with the Washington Post and the New York Times as joint parent newspapers. In 2002, the New York Times Company took control of the International Herald Tribune, which was subtitled since then the Global Edition of the New York Times. On October 15, 2013, the paper was renamed the International New York Times, and in October 2016, it was fully integrated with its parent and renamed the New York Times International Edition. Autumn that year also saw the closing of editing and pre-production operations in the Paris newsroom, where the paper, under its various names, had been headquartered since 1887. History The Paris Herald was founded on 4 October 1887, as the European edition of the New York Herald by the parent paper's owner, James Gordon Bennett, Jr. The company was based in Neuilly sur Seine, a suburb of Paris, France. After the death of Bennett in 1918, Frank Andrew Munsey bought the New York Herald and the Paris Herald. Munsey sold the Herald newspapers in 1924 to the New York Tribune, and the Paris Herald became the Paris Herald Tribune, while the New York paper became New York Herald Tribune. The newspaper became a mainstay of American expatriate culture in Europe. In Ernest Hemingway's 1926 novel, The Sun Also Rises, the first thing the novel's protagonist Jake Barnes does on returning from Spain to France is to buy the New York Herald from a kiosk in Bayonne and read it at a café. In Jean-Luc Godard's 1960 film Breathless, the female lead character Patricia played by Jean Seberg is an American student journalist who sells the New York Herald Tribune on the streets of Paris. Pages from the day's paper can be seen tacked up through the office windows, a tradition that was to continue with the International Herald Tribune. In 1959 John Hay Whitney, a businessman and United States ambassador to the United Kingdom, bought the New York Herald Tribune and its European edition. In 1966 the New York Herald Tribune was merged into the short-lived New York World Journal Tribune and ceased publication, but the Whitney family kept the Paris paper going through partnerships. In December 1966 the Washington Post became a joint owner. The New York Times became a joint owner of the Paris Herald Tribune in May 1967, whereupon the newspaper became known as the International Herald Tribune In 1974, the IHT began transmitting facsimile pages of the paper between nations and opened a printing site near London. In 1977 the paper opened a second site in Zurich. The IHT began transmitting electronic images of newspaper pages from Paris to Hong Kong via satellite in 1980, making the paper simultaneously available on opposite sides of the planet. This was the first such intercontinental transmission of an English-language daily newspaper and followed the pioneering efforts of the Chinese-language newspaper Sing Dao Daily. Xing Dao in 1991, the Washington Post and the New York Times became sole and equal shareholders of the IHT. In February 2005 it opened its Asia newsroom in Hong Kong. In April 2001, the Japanese newspaper Asahi Shimbun Chao Ri Shin Wen tied up with the IHT and published an English-language newspaper, the International Herald Tribune, Asahi Shimbun. After the Washington Post sold their stake in the IHT, it continued being published under the name International Herald Tribune, Asahi Shimbun, but it was discontinued on February 2011. Acquisition by the New York Times Company On 30 December 2002 the New York Times Company took control of the paper by buying the 50% stake owned by The Washington Post Company. The takeover ended a 35-year partnership between the two U.S. domestic competitors. The Post was forced to sell when the Times threatened to pull out and start a competing paper. As a result, the Post entered into an agreement to publish selected Post articles in the Wall Street Journal's European edition. After the takeover the IHT was subtitled The Global Edition of the New York Times instead of published by the New York Times and the Washington Post. 
In 2008, the NYT company announced the merger of the New York Times and IHT websites. In March 2009 the IHT website became the global version of nytimes.com. In 2013, the New York Times company announced that the newspaper itself would be renamed the International New York Times to reflect the company's focus on its core New York Times newspaper and to build its international presence. On 14 October 2013 the International Herald Tribune appeared on newsstands for the last time. It came with a supplemental section, titled Turning the Page, a retrospective on the Herald Tribune's past articles, photographs and place in newspaper history. On October 15, 2013, the International New York Times debuted with a premiere edition flash above the masthead. It came with a supplement titled Turning the Page 2, which discussed and predicted likely developments in many global areas including energy, finance, technology and media. In October 2016, the newspaper was fully integrated with its parent and renamed the New York Times International Edition. While the International Edition shares many columnists with the New York Times, it has its own voice, particularly in the field of culture. Well-known commentators include Alice Rosthorn on design and Soren Malikian on art. Topic: The New York Times International Weekly. Besides the daily edition, a weekly 16-page edition is published as the New York Times International Weekly featuring the best of New York Times articles for a week. Designed to complement and extend local reporting, it offers readers globally resonant coverage of ideas and trends, business and politics, science and lifestyles and more. Host papers can monetize the IW through built-in advertising space, sponsorship and other opportunities to generate revenue. Topic. Affiliations Typically, the affiliation consists of an English-language edition of the local newspaper circulated together with the New York Times International Weekly. Affiliations with international newspapers include Asahi Shimbun Japan, Le Figaro France, The Japan Times Japan, Junging Daily South Korea, Haaretz, Israel. Kathamarini, Greece. The Express Tribune, Pakistan. The Malaysian Reserve, Malaysia. Republika, Nepal. The Jakarta Post, Indonesia. Era, Spain. 